started with such great intentions to um, look presentable today, but it's just gone out the window. I'm gonna have to tie my hair up. <laughs> I've got so much hair now. And it's like 32 degrees outside. So goodness knows how hot it is in this house because it holds the heat like crazy. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry that you'll be able to hear that fan, but I cannot deal without it. <laughs> Hello, long time no see. So you will have seen a video sort of explaining things by the time this vlog goes up. I'm actually filming that video today, so I'm not quite sure what I've said yet, but yeah. This is... Okay. If you want to sort of have an explanation of where I've been, um, head to that previous video because that will sort of explain things. As I go along today, I'll probably like talk about it a bit more, but I think you can probably tell my main priority today is sorting out my office. I have made a huge disaster of this place and it's making me not want to come in here. The main task is to tidy this, which is going to be interesting in this weather. I've got some housework things to do and I'm just going to take you along for the day. Basically, I miss vlogging and these are the kind of vlogs I watch. So I've got some work to do, I've got some videos to film and I have some house life work to be done. So let's go. <laughs> distracted by my house chores um the boy is hot and hungry so he's fed even though we've already fed him this morning but it's very hot so he gets what he wants you know you getting better yeah good <laughs> let's give you an overview of my office brace yourself i haven't tidied any of this before i started filming we start the journey with a pile of returns that need to go back stuff more stuff dreamies we know who those are nail stuff things out of the shelves things from when i went on holiday and i've not put away there's just a lot of stuff and it's bothering me a lot so i feel like the worst task is the clothes and it's too hot to tackle that now but i think what i'm going to do is just move them into this room which is Gus's room slash the wardrobes. And then when it cools down a bit later, I will do them. I'm gonna put them in the way of the wardrobe doors so I don't just like walk over them. Gus, you're gonna, Gus, you're gonna trip me up. Gus, move out of the way. Do you want clothes on your head? Really? <laughs> Shout out to this week's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. I have actually been using BetterHelp for a while now. I can't remember how long, but I've been using and loving it for ages. And this sponsorship couldn't have come at a better time, let's be real, because if you watched my previous video, you know I have been on an emotional roller coaster and I have needed to talk to someone, and that is where BetterHelp have come in. And really, really, hand on heart, help me out. So if you think you might be depressed, if you're stressed, anxious, overwhelmed, or if you simply just need to talk to someone in confidence, then BetterHelp is here for you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you out. They have a database of over 20,000 therapists who all specialize in a wide range of things. All you need to do is fill out a short little questionnaire. It'll assess your needs and then BetterHelp will match you with therapists according to those needs. It is also free of charge to change therapists. I know having a therapist that you kind of 
get on with and can understand you and you just sort of vibe with is very important and I'll be completely honest the first therapist I got wasn't quite right for me so I requested a new therapist and I absolutely love her so once you have your therapist like I do you talk to them in private it's completely confidential you can message them anytime you can talk on the phone or via video call it's really really flexible it's super super convenient and I feel like this is the biggest selling point for me because therapy traditionally is really hard to access trying to fit it in your regular routine is so difficult so having something like better help gives you the flexibility and the control over your own you know therapy journey if you want to join the over 3 million people who already benefit from using better help and taking charge of their own mental health then please do give it a try i have a link for you guys to get 10 percent off your first month so if you use the link that's on screen and in the top line of the description which is betterhelp.com forward slash alice thorpe that's better help h-e-l-p then you can like see for yourself why I rave about it so much. Please, 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 if you've ever debated getting therapy, check this out. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for asking me to share their mission with you guys. It's something I'm really, really passionate about and I'm so happy I did. So I hope you also try it and also get the results that I have gotten. So yes, thank you BetterHelp. And let's get back to the vlog. Whew. So I have fully opened this window, which makes me very vulnerable to all the wasps and the bugs. And I don't do wasps and bugs. In fact, at work, I regularly get attacked by wasps <laughs> whilst eating my lunch. So I've got, I think, even more of a fear of them by now. So I have like this mesh stuff that I'm going to stick on the window, similar to that one that I've just put up downstairs. That mesh stuff is currently in the bedroom and my boyfriend is sleeping off his night shift. So I'm gonna have to stealth mode into the bedroom. Otherwise, if something comes in this room whilst I'm tidying, I'm out. Didn't even notice I went in. These are the screen things. I bought them off Amazon, but they're sold in like home bargains and stuff too. And they come with like this really thin Velcro but it always peels off really quickly. So that's kind of rubbish, but they're still really affordable. So I buy the whole set still and then buy chunky Velcro. And I just use like the spiky side of the Velcro. Then you cut it to size and it fits. and I've actually just rediscovered some things I bought when I was on holiday in the Lake District. So this was from Ambleside Toy Shop and it's like a really intricate like DIY little craft project thing. So I like things like this. The little threads on them, I don't know if you can see that, there you go, are so small you have to like bend those with tweezers but I thought this would keep me entertained. These are all from a shop called Detail, which is also in Ambleside, and I absolutely love this shop. I was like so excited to go back here after seeing it last year. So I got myself this little like sewing felt project. It's a little polar bear, and I thought I could put a string in its head like there is there and use it as a Christmas decoration. Then I got this pin, which is just a Lake District pin, and I want to put it on my wall in here. And then also saw this book, which I thought was really cute. I love how this has been illustrated. So it says, you will leave a trail of starts. Words of inspiration for blazing your own path by Lisa Congdon. But I just absolutely love the style of the artwork in here. Like this is my kind of vibe and I'm really looking forward to reading that. Plus it's gonna look super cute on the shelf. You can't have too many cute books right? <laughs> and then finally my boyfriend really likes this and I mean so do I. It says hi come on worry less and it's got like a gold effect to it it's really cute so we're thinking either this is going to go in the bedroom or downstairs but we need to redecorate the bedroom first so yes that's my little independent artist haul Whew, i actually just had a little bit of a break downstairs because it's getting far too hot up here got myself some lemonade in a coca-cola glass because i don't know but the office is looking good there's just like a final few bits i'm gonna cut a little bit of hair 
hello just realized this camera was on the wrong setting i'm using my 4k camera and i feel like i'm probably going to regret it with the state of my um face <laughs> but i figured i'll treat you guys for the first video back but yeah i'm using the sony zv1 and we'll see how it is but yeah let's have a little preview so i've cleared the pile of clothes obviously that was the first task cleared everything on the desk just got those few bits to move the lint roller needs washing another print from the lakes but i can see my floor just need to print out a label to return this need to close that drawer i just put the drone away which we took on holiday with us and yeah everything's looking good i've just got some wires behind here that i've just discovered in a random bag so i'm gonna do those last final bits and then i'm gonna clean the surfaces with these these smell delicious they're from morrison's love them oh and i want to put these up too i got these from italy and we just really liked them so i'm gonna put them on the wall in here for now but i guess we could move them somewhere else in the house if like when we've decorated we want to do something so let's do it <laughs> Is my little pin collection I've got going on and I'm just gonna put the Lake District, I should put it maybe here and I actually need to find one of my own soul and fire pins to put on here but I'm not quite sure where I've stored them so for now we just have a few cute little ones but I really like this wall I might just, like move them around a little bit at some point but for now I just think it's super cute so yeah and I'm debating getting one of those pin like flag banner things because this I feel ruins the vibe a touch <laughs> need to take rubbish to the bin which is on the back of the door but I'm at my desk for the first time in weeks I am going to sit here for like a couple of hours pump some work out and then we will reconvene I basically needed to tidy up so I could actually have like some work time at my desk because I feel especially with starting the new job I feel like I'm going to be more productive at a desk. I'm sort of used to sitting at one all day now. So um, yeah, I was just craving being back in here. And you know what? I've been sat, I've been like taking it all in and looking around and I feel positive in here. I think, I think the issue was I spent too much time in my own head in this room, like overthinking everything. Working alone is hard and I've literally done it for like, nine years ever since I started this YouTube channel and obviously most of that time I was either at uni um, or I had something else it wasn't just YouTube and just about my face earning the money if that makes any sense it might not but yeah I think I just got in my own head a little bit too much I'm sure I'm going to talk about this in the video that will already be up that I haven't yet filmed yet um, but it was just yeah it was just difficult so it feels really nice. I feel like I've hit a reset button. For like the past few weeks, as I've been in this new job, I have been like walking in the office and not feeling comfortable and like wanting to come back out and feeling such a weird mix of emotions. But I, I've just, I was just ready to come back. Like it feels nice to reset. I've got sort of like a new focus, still gonna keep doing my thing on YouTube, just at my own pace taking the pressure off a little bit and like going back to my roots and doing it like the way I did it back in 2013 when I started nearly 10 years how insane is that but yeah feeling feeling good I'm gonna sit and do this laptop work I have like four different client jobs that I need to do obviously with working full-time I don't have much time now to fit projects in so I'm still sort of like figuring that out a lot of my clients are like product-based people um or businesses so they're prepping for like christmas launches and stuff so i've got quite a few that have all come in at once that i need to get done so i've set some time aside this weekend to get that done spurred me on to clear my office finally and 
I feel like I'm gonna feel good once I've got this sorted. And also I have halloumi fries in the freezer for my lunch when I'm hungry. So that's gonna motivate me even further. <laughs> Although I have just remembered that my mouse is in my work bag because we get work laptop and I've managed to set my mouse up to work with that laptop too. So I need this. This mouse, everyone at work calls it a spaceship. <laughs> I love it, it was gifted to me a while ago now and I swear by it. It's got like programmable buttons on the side. So when I'm at work, I like have pro programmed them to make my workflow so much easier. And I feel like that is one of the main things that helps me get shit done. So this mouse is great and it connects to like three laptops at once without having to like reconnect it. So like at the bottom, there's like a one, two and a three down here. So I flick this on. This laptop in front of me is number two. Um, and my old laptop is number one and the work one's number three. So I just press that and it'll work with this laptop. The only trouble is I now need to remember to put this mouse back in my bag. I'm ready for Monday, otherwise I'll be very sad <laughs> when it comes to Monday and I've not got it. now the next day. So yesterday I did lots of laptop work and then went to my mum and dad's for a barbecue which was delicious and I completely forgot to film. I'm clearly out of the whack, out of the whack, out of whack with vlogging so yeah just know it was delicious and I didn't leave until like half nine. It was very nice to see them both and today I have literally spent my entire day in like car shops buying a car with my boyfriend. It's now four o'clock, I've just got home. So I need to get back on it with the work. I'm gonna take my laptop downstairs because it's so much cooler downstairs. It's still boiling. I feel like I've got sunburn today or my skin feels quite sore because one of the cars we drove had like a little like pull back roof thing. So I was like in full sun and I don't deal well <laughs> with the sun. So yeah, I've got some client work to finish and I also have some more designs for Hannah to do for Sunnyside. So I'm going to get that done and yeah, let's go downstairs and do some work. I cannot stand this office. I'm very ready for it to cool down and for it to rain. I know. I'm sorry if you love the summer. I am not built for this weather. <laughs> I think like my limit is like 23, 24. I'm happy with that. It's like 31, 32 at the minute and that's just far too much, especially with a new build that is designed to hold in the heat. It is so hot. see the sweat how disgusting <laughs> right it is now 8 p.m i am absolutely exhausted i've done all but one client job so feeling pretty good about that however i have not yet put that washing away that's upstairs so i guess that's a tomorrow job although right now it's blocking the entire wardrobe so might have to brave it tonight but yes i've had a very productive day days weekend and it's been really nice to be vlogging again actually. I'm gonna do this a lot more now. I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of things but also not put too much pressure on myself because I feel like that's sort of what happened before. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you watched until the very end and yeah, I'll see you soon for another one.